Wake up, bitch, and welcome back to part two of Batman, a Telltale series. During part one, we met Catwoman, we saw Harvey Dent, and we left off at the party at, uh, at Wayne Manor, you know, trying to support Harvey Dent, get him the election. Let's continue on. Part two, welcome back. Batman, Telltale series. I already said that. Man's drinking from the bottle, dude. Pause. Mr. Wayne, nice. I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. It's a jacked-ass puppet. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey, Harvey Dent can do it. Shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. All right, there we go. I swayed some voters. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Damn straight. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Harvey Dent is on the juice, bro. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is what? quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Uh, Just between politics us. Politics bore me. Politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words. Not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, 
Is that blood? <laughs> no. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It's just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the oh, Dent shit. campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. This man is a mob boss! I think, I'm not really sure. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. <clears throat> this is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Yeah, fuck you. I wouldn't actually say that to him, but... You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce I'm gonna shake his hand. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Your Gentlemen, guests will remember that? Oh, they'll no. be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I shouldn't have done that. I can't really not shake his hand, though. He'd probably kill me in front of everybody. You know he's strapped. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk a Fuck little. off, Harvey. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. There you go. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. Let's play pool then. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Chalk your own pool stick. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. I'm not yeah, friends with this guy. Happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. 
You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. Oh, you People don't up. say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's well, gonna, gonna get what's to coming anyway. to him. Telltale series. So it's shaping up to be a great game, I'm telling you. It's gonna be intense. I think we all know how the story goes. Anyway, maybe it's different. It's me. I kind of regret making everything purple now. I feel like it looked way cooler if it was blue. Episode 1, Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, I forgot we took that bag from her. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be Shit. perceived um, as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to what take down one of Gotham's most at, uh, young politicians? <laughs> The Skyline Club owner, head of the Falcon now, crime family, the worst kind of gangster. The one who tries to mingle with high society, has his the hands in everything. Um, damn, this has got Still access no on everything, on huh? The fire, Arkham Asylum. There has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area. Who the fuck is this? Mayor of Gotham City, Exhibit A, and what's wrong with the city? Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago. Got his hands wrapped up in a death grip. What is this? Got 10 million people live in Gotham City? What the fuck? I didn't know it was like that. Does it really want me to look at all of these? Alright, we're gonna look at all of them. Vicky Vale. Red investigative journalists are the latest headache for the writers of Gotham's I really don't know if I should be reading this out or letting you listen to what the radio is saying or the TV I'm really confused by that but cat burglar that's cat woman new criminal on the scene there's the mayor Harvey Dent obviously on roids Alfred Pennyworth that's our butler the main man Police don't have any suspects He's my butler, time. my confidant, and the most secret Two weapon in my arsenal. That's my mom and dad. From the half They're dead. Alright, there we go. Only three have been caught to date, but what else should we look at? The rough, Gotham so feed? DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. 
Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law. Yada, yada, yada. Police Lieutenant Tap the lead task force. That's Commissioner Gordon. You know, Wayne Enterprises out here investing. All these bands. Was created in order to allow government what else do we got? Property owners greater the fuck is this? Data drives? Look at that. Nearly fell off a building for this? So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably but you better look at what it is. Analyze the data drive at the and back computer. Now you can't is that, trust is that this laptop? I don't know what the fuck. More on this after the break. Um, look at the gun, look at the pellets. I'd like to look at the laptop if all, if that's possible. Fuck all of this. I don't care about a battering. Do I just put it in the computer or codex? That's the feed. Movie tickets? I don't got time for a goddamn movie. Cow, what is this? Oh, it's my bad suit. Actually, we should look at that. For sure. My suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back. Even from the police. That's actually a really dope bat suit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'll look at the movie tickets. Do I go back to the codex? I don't really know what to do, I'm gonna be honest. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this. That shit is not what I wanted to do. Where's the computer that I need? It's gotta be this, right? Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the vote? Where the fuck? I'm about to oh here we go. I didn't realize I could just walk off. Yo, just get in the car, let's go. Look at this. Let's get in the Batmobile. Don't examine it. Let's drive that shit. Oh my oh, god. That's the stuff. Damn straight. Alright, what else do we got? Oh, here we go. It's in the data port. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I like this I'm cave. more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Um, okay, to rotate the hologram, use... Okay, the left stick. It looks right. Okay, this does look pretty, pretty cool. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. 
but I'd already sewn you up once tonight and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. Oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. Damn I was talking straight. about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I... I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. The fuck is that? I thought I saw Oz. It's been what? 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. This man's got his own park? What the hell? <clears throat> Great name. Great name for a park. Cobble pot. What the fuck is wrong with that guy? All right, let's check it out. Is it gonna let us Where walk around? Was? Oh, here we go. It's actually letting us walk. Oh shit! I wanted to look at the thing. Okay, guy on the, give him some change, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, sir. Hey, that's not a problem, brother. That's what I do. Just trying to get back, man. Um, alright, where, where else should we look? What do y'all think, over here? Burning barrel? Gotta look at it. Jesus might be in that shit. <laughs> That's all we did? Just warmed our hands up? Okay. That's cool. <sighs> Great. Meet you by the statue, we said. There's the okay. statue, but no odds. I saw somebody just a second ago with the mohawk? Who was that? Oh, there he is. Let's go talk to this guy. Smoking man. Yo, let me bum one off hey. you. Beat it. 
What? <laughs> Wait, that's all he said? Was beat it? Go fuck yourself, buddy. You lucky there's not an option I could press so and or O oh, and beat the hell out of you. Alright. Look at the shopping cart, I guess. Okay, I was really examining the hell out of that sharp shopping cart. Let's look at the graffiti now. They just want me to look at everything in this park? What is this? Look at the plaque? Oh, okay, this actually says some things. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Okay. That's great. That's great stuff. Can Oz just come now? That would be great. There he is. Watch oh, he's got a cash. But this goes through you. This fucking guy? Oh, he's got two. Hey, you heard him, man. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. Y'all yeah, fucked up. And him. And him. I'm ready. Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, moving the moment! Oh. Come here. I think that'll do. Here we go. Now we get to fight. Yeah. Let's go, Oz. Stay down. Let's go, Oz. Oh, shit. Oz. Oh, fuck that. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. Teamwork, this used to be brother. a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Too fast for him. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh. Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now... I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although... I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. I didn't invite him. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone 
made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. So there we go. As you heard right there, a revolution is about to go down within Gotham. Oz is getting it started against the Falcone family. The uh, the crime boss that will happen in episode three. We got a press conference to, uh, to attend, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode here. Let me know in the comments if you guys are still enjoying the Batman Telltale series. This game is pretty good so far. I like it. So... We'll finish up episode one for sure in the next couple of episodes. And uh, yeah, see if you want to do episode two once it's released. So if you did enjoy the video here today, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it. And give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have an outro.